Hello and welcome to Learn the Violin. Today I'm going to be doing a review on Yamaha's Silent Violin 200, the SV200. And if you look underneath the video there's a link to listen to this violin in uh, different modes from classical uh, to traditional. But let's have a look at the violin um, in more detail. So this is the Yamaha violin. Um, this is what it looks like for um, bridge and the gap between the fingerboards, which I think is quite important. Um, this is from behind the violin. One of the things I noticed about this violin when I bought it was that I had to change the strings, be prepared to change the strings because the uh, ones supplied by Yamaha weren't very good. This gap was too low um, because I tried to alter, adjust, adjust the bridge and um, this is uh, a, an original um, Albert bridge I can put it there, which um, I actually lowered and by lowering it I achieved um, a worse sound so the gap is about right there this is one of the things I couldn't find when I was looking for a, um, at all the reviews of this violin I couldn't find the, the, the gap the good thing about the SV is that it's got a feel exactly the same as an acoustic violin and the, uh, to, to play the violin itself is very very easy The actual sound that you get from uh, the SV uh, will depend exactly on what you're using. If you're playing it through an old tin can, then it's going to sound like an old tin can. But if you play it through um, good, uh, good amplification with good speakers, then it's going to sound fantastic. The, the good thing about this violin is that it has... Is that it has uh, a socket on the side and if you place um, this small jack in and uh, you switch it on you can play virtually in silence Now that is very loud in my ears, but um, you can hardly hear it. So you can practice with this violin in the house and not disturb your family or your neighbours, which is a, another great feature. If you're beginning to play the violin and you get to a stage where you feel that you're better than the uh, the practice violin that you're using, such as like a Stentor or um, one of the other makes that you can buy quite cheaply, then you're going to look at buying um, something a, a little bit better. Already I did a uh, review on the WAV 4, which is um, quite a good choice because it's quite cheap, it's cheaper than this violin. Um, and you can have a look at other violins which are similar priced but from my opinion um, this violin is good value it sounds um, the closest to an acoustic violin that I've played and um, even though it's a little bit more expensive than the uh, the Wav 4 um, it is uh, for me a better violin because with the with the uh, the WAV4 um, 
you always have to put uh, the shoulder rest on, take it off and put it back on. With this, it'll take a normal shoulder rest if you need it. I don't play really with the shoulder rest. And it is, um, it is just like playing a normal acoustic violin. If I'm going to have a grumble about the, the violin, the, um, the violin comes with just one fine tuner. This one has got four because it's been altered a little bit. Um, and also this, where you plug the jack in on the side, um, is sometimes a little bit irritating. Um, but I've got used to it now. But um, the, the good things on the, about the violin um, definitely uh, more than the bad things because the only thing I can think of really is this jack plug socket um, because the rest is fine so uh, max out of 10 um, you're looking at a very very high 8 now I'm going to put a little bit of um, what I've done with this violin uh, now and uh, you can see what it sounds like through the equipment that I'm playing with but as I, re as I said before um, with, a, with an electric violin, it depends on what you're playing it with. If you're going to put it through something bad, it's going to sound bad. And if you're going to put it through something good, it'll sound good. So that's the most important thing if you're looking for live sound. If you're looking for a violin that you can play without disturbing uh, the rest of your family, then this is fantastic. Okay, so thank you for listening. I hope that's been useful. And um, I hope to see you again for um, one of my lessons. But uh, for today from me, thank you and uh, 